Working with our Excalibur card again. We have our 60 volt brushless motor and controller. We have five 12 volt 15 amp hour SLA batteries. And I've got a switch on here. RPM meter with a magnet and a sensor set up on the rear wheel here. So I figured we'd get some RPM readings on this 60 volt motor. Hmm. Takes a minute to zero out. There we go. Alrighty. So before we fire up the system, get our pre-charge. About 10 seconds or so. Flip the breaker on. And connect our meter. Our meter is showing we have 64.24 volts in the battery pack currently and our switch is still off so nothing happens with the throttle pedal so far meters at zero flip our on off switch on hit our accelerator pedal oh right let this zero out again now that does. We have our three speed switch, I believe, in low right now. So we're going to get a RPM reading in low gear. Switch is in low. Meters reset. Hit the throttle. think that's high gear. That was pretty damn fast. <laughs> Let me try this medium here. Now we'll just switch right down. Alright, meters reset. <laughs> RPMs with about 580 and low. Now we'll switch the switch to medium. See what we get. Look about 762. We'll do high again just for the record. Alright, so this is a 62 sprocket and we have the 10 tooth power curve sprocket on the motor. So we'll do some math and see what the RPMs are in low, medium, and high. Alright, those were our unloaded RPM tests. So I have X caliber out and we'll get some loaded RPM tests. So we got our switch in low, so we'll go from there. So this will be our RPM, loaded RPM test for 60 volt, 2000 watt brushless motor. We've already pre-charged the system. Our breaker is on.
switch is on we have power get our RPM meter on Sixty three point five volts, RPMs at zero, switch on low. Try that again after it resets. Just to try to get confirming numbers. And our battery pack is at 63.1. RPM meter is at zero. Low speed loaded RPM test two. Well, I'm going to go with 500 RPMs just for round numbers. Battery pack still at 63.1 volts, let's say. <coughs> I switched our switch up to medium and we'll get some readings here. Battery pack is recovering to 62.8 volts. Wait for the RPM meter to zero. We are the loaded RPM test in medium speed. Second one. say that was 680 pretty consistently so now we'll flip it up to high gear and see what we get battery pack is at 62.86 volts RPM meter is zeroed again we are in high gear 
and we'll get some RPM readings. Battery packs at 62.5 volts. Waiting for the RPM meter to zero. Um, loaded RPM test, high speed test two. Alrighty, it's going to be about 8.30 pretty consistent, so it seemed to be what, about 500 in low, 675 in medium, and about 8.30 in high. Cool beans. Well, that was fun. Uh, just a quick recap did a little bit of math so our 60 volt 2000 watt Boma brushless motor our RPM tests unloaded we had 580 RPMs in low but that was at the rear wheel and we have a 6 to 1 gear ratio so times 580 by 6 we got 3480 RPMs so that should be the motors RPMs in low the motor's RPMs in medium was 762 at the axle, so that comes out to 4,572 RPMs, motor RPMs. And then in high, we had 942 RPMs at the axle, which calculates to 5,652 motor RPMs. Then if we go over here to our loaded tests, Loaded in low come out to about 500 RPMs, which times 6 is 3,000, 
So it'll be 500 RPMs at the rear axle, 3,000 motor RPMs in low. Medium was 675 axle RPMs, which come out to 4,050 motor RPMs. And high with 830 axle RPMs, which translates to 4,980 motor RPMs. So there's our RPM data for this 60 volt 2000 watt brushless motor. And stick with us. Next we'll get some speed readings. <laughs> 